Everything in this village is recycled. All the cement, steel, and especially the glass. Artisans tinkering away in the workshops of Kitangela Glass here in Nairobi have transformed this place into a magical landscape. The ideas sprang from the imagination of Nani Koza. The German first came to Kenya 40 years ago to do biological field work under renowned animal researcher Konrad Lorenz, and she's been here ever since. Not long after she arrived, Nani lost interest in her chosen profession. So she started earning a living making church windows. My dentist needs a mirror. I got trained in England for three weeks, and it wasn't enough. I then trained myself and trained my, the people around me. And slowly, slowly, we found out that it's too expensive to import all this glass. We have to make our own, and that's when the recycling started. There's no municipal glass recycling programs in Nairobi. So Koza established her own collection system. Several times a week, her staff picks up waste glass from businesses and restaurants. They don't weigh the glass they bring to Kitangela. It isn't worth much in this state. But added up, it's a mountain of material. Glass starts to turn into molten liquid at about 1,000 degrees Celsius. Simon Meja has been at Kitangela Glass for 20 years. It was Koza who first taught him how to work with glass. Glass production is quite expensive. That's why it's an environmentally sound idea to melt it down and reuse it. Simon is just one of 30 employees who've mastered the art of glass blowing. He uses special pigments to create colorful glass, which he then transforms into beautiful objects, from bowls to vases to flowers, and much more. He also trains others who are trying to learn the craft. I was able to train like uh, six guys. And uh, I trained them for about uh, one year. And once I was uh, through, they were able to do on their own. So I'm happy that I have my students who can do it on their own. Simon enjoys pursuing his own creative designs. Many of them demand a lot of skill to make. Nani Koza has taught her staff how to create a range of forms, from jewelry to animal shapes and stained glass, almost anything a client might commission. This panel is part of a triptych for a house on the coast. It's sold for around 1,300 euros. She does many of the sketches herself, her staff also generate designs. That's one of the many reasons they enjoy their work at Kitangela so much. There are many aspects to recycling. Bottles, not necessarily that you can melt, you can cut them and just use it as, as a tabla or a glass, water glass or something. So at least there is that you, you think of recycling, you know, in your mind there is something that clicks that you need to, can I recycle it? It's this marriage of recycling and art that guides Koza's work. Use what you have, don't throw it away. Cut it up and use it as a, as a rug, if it's an old overalls or an old pair of shoes. Or make a sculpture out of it. Don't throw things away, use them. And of course, art is one of the best ways of, of doing it because you can make art out of anything. The staff display their original works in the sales area next to the workshop. Visitors come from far and wide to admire this colorful paradise, filled with treasures made out of recycled glass. 